Hey everyone, it's Professor Lee, and I'm going to walk you through how to complete your Disease Detectives discussion board posts. So the first thing you're going to want to do is read through this Disease Detectives discussion board info, which will give you a little bit of background on why it's important to uh, know these statistics or to research these statistics, and then also some links to resources to find the information that you are going to report on in the discussion board. So for uh, the second part here, there are a number of um, uh, web pages linked. The first one is the CDC, which is the Centers for Disease Control, Fast Stats web page. I would definitely suggest checking there first, and you'll see why in just a moment. I'm going to show you how that works. However, there are uh, a few other web pages linked here. And so um, both the CDC Wonder and their Surveillance Resource Center, as well as the Data Statistics website, are all uh, CDC websites, and they will all report along with the Fast Stats page on information on diseases. Uh, as they pertain to populations in the United States. So if you, um, for this discussion board, you only need to complete information for the United States. However, if you were researching a topic and you kind of maybe wanted to see how uh, the, the statistics looked on a global level, then you could check out the World Health Organization Data Center um, or the WHO Data Center for that information. So when you click on the Fast Stats page, you are going to be brought to <clears throat> this uh, Statistics by Topic page. And so there are a couple of different ways that you can, let me make this a little bigger. There are a couple of different ways that you can research here. So you can click the expand the menu for diseases and conditions, and then there's some extra expandable menus in there. Or it may be easiest for you to do the uh, research by uh, topic. And so these are all alphabetically ordered, which makes it really nice and easy to find. And I'm going to look up heart disease. Okay, so I've opened up the heart disease page and there are a couple of notations that I would like to make here. The first topic that you see is morbidity. Then you have physician's office visits, uh, emergency room to vis vis emergency department, excuse me, visits, and then the last one is mortality. Morbidity and mortality are very commonly confused because they sound similar, but what you need to remember is that morbidity is the state of being diseased. So the people that are represented in this data set have been diagnosed with a heart disease. And in the mortality data, mortality means death. So the people who are represented in the uh, mortality data set have died from a heart disease, a diagnosed heart condition. So um, when you are looking at data, you should definitely look at morbidity data, but you are also welcome to look at mortality data. Morbidity is going to tell us how many people are alive in the United States and have this um, heart disease now, and mortality is going to tell us how many people have died from it. So you can check out both of those and include that information if you would like. So I'm going to click on the morbidity data, and you can see that it brings us to this report. and. Along the top of this report, we have four different categories that are important to note. So this column is going to be representative of all types of diagnosed heart disease, and this report is for 2018. So when you are typing out your discussion board responses, make sure you notate the year for which the report um, came from. The uh, second one is coronary heart disease, third we have hypertension, and fourth we have stroke. So I have already annotated a couple of these um, pages from this report, so I'm going to show you that. The first one uh, I would like to show you, I have selected hypertension as the disease that I'm going to report on for this discussion board post. Okay, So I go through the data and I want to find out who has the most of it and who has the least of it. Now I've put blue boxes here around all of the higher numbers in the hypertension column. And so I can tell that men 
uh, are more likely than women by this data set to have been diagnosed with hypertension or high blood pressure, that people who are 75 and older are more commonly diagnosed, in the category of race that black or african-american folks are more commonly diagnosed with hypertension so we have some more interesting statistics just outside of those basic age gender and race demographics and these are where the information can start to really paint a picture of how a disease occurs within populations in the united states so if you're looking at education for hypertension the group uh, level for education that is more most commonly diagnosed or has in 2018 been most commonly diagnosed with hypertension are those with less than a high school diploma. Um, if you look at current employment status, it is uh, people who have been working previously but are not currently employed. And then I'm going to pull up the second page really quickly and show you that um, for hypertension, the family income is most that has the h highest diagnosis of hypertension is 35,000 or less for a family combined income. Poverty status, they're typically poor. Um, insurance coverage is typically found. Uh, hypertension is elevated in populations who utilize Medicaid, which is the government funded health insurance. In California, it's Medi Cal. Uh, in 65 and older, so in our geriatric populations, we see those who are Medicare and Medicaid, so both of the government funded um, insurances that ha will have a higher incidence of um, uh, hypertension, at least in 2018 they did. Marital status, um, those who are widowed and those who live not in a major metropolitan service area and also those who live in the south are going to be more commonly diagnosed with hypertension than other population groups. And so by looking at this data, what I can see just from these two pages of data, let me minimize this so you can see both of them again, um, is that the statistics over here begin to make sense once you realize that those who have less than a high school diploma, which is our highest population of hypertension patients here um, in the education level, are likely to make less than $35,000 a year. So if you um, haven't graduated high school, if you have a patient who hasn't graduated high school, they have very little education, they are probably working minimum wage, jo wage jobs and probably make less than 35000 a year or are at poverty status, the poor poverty status, um, which means that they are likely utilizing the free government funded health insurances. And um, so that would explain the tip and statistics over here in the Medicaid and in the Medicare and Medicaid um, categories. So you can see from data, um, you know, how kind of uh, you can weave together a picture or a portrait of, for this case, what hypertension looks like in the United States. Now, this is just a couple pages of the report, the first two pages. I encourage you to go through and look at the other data points that are of interest to you um, and report on those as well. So this is kind of what you're going to do for the um, data, sorry, there's my husband, the data um, reports and um, the disease detectives discussions. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how to kind of navigate through those. There are those additional resources linked for you um, that if you can't find the information you're looking for here on the fast stats page, then you can definitely um, check out the CDC Wonder or their Surveillance Resource Center or the data statistics page. Um, and if you want to look on a global level, then you and include that information, you can look in the WHO data center as well. Um, you want to make sure that you are citing all of your resources and that uh, there are links to the pages where you got these uh, the information um, so that that way you're not um, plagiarizing any of the uh, data from the CDC or the WHO. Okay, I think that is all. If you have questions, please do let me know.